Hi everyone and welcome to Coin Treasure Hunt. If you'd like to learn a little about the objects, faces and places on the back of UK circulated coins, find out which commemorative coins are rare, sought after and worth more than face value, and seek out the hidden treasures a lot of people miss, or you just love coin hunts, hit the subscribe button in the right hand corner of your screen now. So today we are not doing a coin hunt. What it is is I'm going to show you the best finds and the most quirky odd coins of uh, January 2020. So let's get going. Right, I'm going to start off with the... Actually I'll start off with the 10p coins. Now these ones here are the Ironside ones. Uh, Ironside 2008 is the lowest mintage 10p and it's got to have the line on the back. So if it has the line on the back, you'll know that it's the lowest mintage. It's um, 9,700,000. Uh, just slightly over that. But one of them, I think, is a proof coin, which is this one here. And it's also a kind of... I've just got that very, very recently, just the other day. And it's a rosy colour in comparison to the other ones. The other ones are silvery in colour, obviously. But that one in the middle, I don't know where this light shows it, but it's a rosy tint. It's the same on the back, it's the same on the front, and it's completely all over the coin. So I don't know whether it's an oddity or whether it's tarnish or to toning or something, but hmm, this is one of these little oddities you get. But it's very nice all the same. So yeah, as I say, in comparison to other 10p coins, um, that's a very, very low mintage for a 10p. And we seem to be out of focus for some reason. There we go. Right, now, uh, yeah, so normally 10Ps have tens of millions or hundreds of millions even. And then we had this little beauty. Territories coin. Look at that. Tommaso plant. Beautiful. And that's from the bailiwick of Guernsey. And Robert Elderton is the designer of the reverse of the coin. And it's got a mintage of 3,500,000. So I was absolutely delighted to get that one. And uh, hoping to get another one for a for a, a, a chap I know out there that I talk to regularly. I know he'd love this coin. <laughs> He's already told me, actually. So uh, that was fabulous. Then we had a day where it was just... Actually, earlier in the month, um, we had our American visitors came over. And one of them was just a regular quarter dollar, but was still cool to get. And actually, as it turns out, its uh, its value was higher than 10p. So, you know, that kind of makes it kind of cool. A bit worn on the front there. But uh, always nice to get it. And one from 1967. So quite an old one actually. Uh, but this one far far cooler. Um, it's a newer coin. But it's one of the ones from. Um, it's the States Collection coins. And this one is the Idaho one. I used to have a lot lot more of them. But I've lost my. Um, well during a house move as I said before. I lost uh, all of my coins. So I had a few of these. And uh but now it's a, it's a start again. So to get this one, absolutely delighted. Beautiful design. Um, Esto Perpetua. Um, and uh, as I say, the, the obviously the bird, the national bird or of Idaho and the state there in the background. Lovely, beautiful coin. That's why I love, I love the territories or the, the odd ones, especially the United States ones that come over. Um, the state ones. I love all of that collection, actually. And these, these were probably the... the the most amazing uh, to get during the uh, during the month of January, um, dolphins. I remember seeing the first one and going, "Wow, that's just awesome!" It's from Saint Helena and Ascension Islands, so yeah, nineteen ninety eight coin. Couldn't find the mintage, so if you do know it, let me know um, what it is. But um, obviously, somebody had visited the islands at some stage, or somebody they knew had, because not only did I get one, I got two. And then shortly after that, I got a hat trick of them. And then to top it off, I got four of them, which was unbelievable. The video itself is um, a, my reaction to it is, is, I have to say, I did have a giggle about it because I was just like, this can be happening. This is madness. But um, beautiful design. As I say, absolutely love the Territories coins because they very often have plants or animals on them. And, you know, I'm a big fan of wildlife. So wonderful, wonderful, wonderful to get them. So some absolutely cracking finds into 10 pays. Granted, some of them are not actually 10 pays. Obviously, the United States ones. And, um, well, actually, the rest are, yeah, the rest are actually 10 pays. So, albeit, they are territories, 10 pay coins. So, yeah, some fabulous finds on that. Now we'll move on to 2 pay coins. 
and um, we did. We had a we had a great bit of fun on them. It's actually very difficult. There's a lot to say. There's a lot to uh, think about with magnetic coins, different dates, the lowest mintage one, all this sort of thing. The 2008 is the lowest mintage one. I had one of them, um, but it took me a long time to find it. And then I had these two pences, which are not two pence coins, obviously. <laughs> but I had in again in the pack. I had a hat trick of these. And so I was looking at them and I said to myself, right, okay, um, let me just check and see what the mintage is of them, thinking that it would be like, you know, extremely high mintage. And it turns around that I had a 1958, a 1960, and a 19, uh, if I can get into focus there, 19, bit more grubby one, 1953. And it turns around that the actual 1953, did not expect this, is the lowest mintage of the um, half pennies of the uh, Elizabeth uh, Queen Elizabeth II half penny, so that was an absolutely wonderful find to get. Beautiful, um, beautiful uh, uh, ship on the back is the Golden Hind. Um, wonderful to get. You know, it, it's just when these things just pop up. Sometimes it's just so random, and you just don't do not expect it. And um, you know, absolutely wonderful to get, and fantastic condition as well. Granted, as I said, not two p coins, but there we go. Still, you were in the two p bag. But it takes a long time to get these. You don't just get these, you know, every hunt. I do lots of 2p uh, coin hunts because it's very low value coin. And, you know, it's it's pretty easy to get some, you know. But these are absolutely, without a doubt, the star coins that I found. Um, beautiful condition, 1989 uh, two pence coin. And that was from the Bailiwick of Guernsey. Um clear there uh, slightly odd because normally it has from the bailiwicks or from the territories it usually has uh queen elizabeth as elizabeth the second but it has it written in 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 words rather than in in roman numerals there but this one wonderful good niche for 1989 and uh, a guernsey cow or guernsey cows on the back so lovely lovely design and then that was in the in the same bag we had this one it's absolutely fabulous coin and that was from a rune um, in the Bailiwick of Jersey. So and beautiful, beautiful condition. This one actually had got the writing on it, which was uh, which was more the norm for, as I said, for the islands or uh, the territories. 1987, great condition for such a an old coin. Now, let's move on to the 50 pays. Now I want to show, obviously this one is not a particularly low mintage, but the reason why I have it in there is because I absolutely love the coin. I think it's really ornate, beautiful, probably the prettiest coin that's minted. But we had got an oddity in it. Obviously we got three of them, but we had this one. And either somebody has ground down a number of the sides, most of the sides on the front, or else it's a misstrike. It's probably somebody's grounded down. For what reason, I have no idea. But as I said, just keep your eyes out. You do find odd ones. And also, on the front, I noticed that the six was very difficult to see. It looks like, depending on which way you angle it, it looks like it's two or 201, the year 201. But then I did see a kind of groove there. So that suggests that maybe somebody had has been messing around with this coin. Strange that people want to do it and then put it into circulation, but hey ho, who knows? You know, nothing as odd as folks, eh? But there we go. But a beautiful coin, all the same. Uh, then we had our compliment of Sherlock Holmes. Great design on the coin. Um, wonderful detail. All his uh, famous stories. My favourite is um, Hound of the Baskervilles. What is yours? But again, I have to say, recently I have not seen Sherlock again for a while, so. Still, it is. It is. It's like one of uh, Sherlock's mysteries. What is the mintage of that coin? It seems I, I. I'm still sticking around the five million mark, but it could be lower. It could be lower. Then we had Tale of Gloucester. We had two of them. Lovely little coin. Probably the cutest of the uh, of the year of the 2018 set of Beatrix. In my opinion, of course. Tell me what your favourite is. But delighted to get them. Actually, I should show you before I go through the rest of them. The oddball uh, ones. This is a 2013. I don't know whether anybody has no noticed anything with the 2013s, but I think they're just very pearly, um, like a very pearl mintage year. You know, the quality of the coin. I actually thought that it was a it was a fake, but I've looked at a number of the 2013s. Uh, the back on that looks absolutely fine. 
but I actually think they're really really poor some of them 2012 2013 actually very very poor quality coins and they always have this kind of cheap sheen off them so have a look at them and tell me what you think but certainly more odd than that somebody decided to take some sort of drilling tool or something like that and and then the the queen has something growing out of her nose it looks like uh in that one she has a bit of a trunk or something <laughs> sorry but you know what i mean it is uh rather strange but it's and you can see there the damage to it so you say what people do <laughs> this is just very very odd um but there we go we had that one and uh the queen probably would prefer not to have that in her nose whatever that is but there we go and then this one just the color of it it was just an oddball kind of a crimson crimson delay grubby on the front but uh then crimson on the back thought that was a funny one then this one here immediately when i saw her, i went and i don't get you get fakes in other coins in the old one pound coin you used to have fakes but this clearly to me is a fake it's not a misstrike it's not anything like that look at the quality or lack of quality in that you know the design on it um it's just not very clear the metal obviously you can't feel it but it feels very odd it's really really strange feel off it um on the back as i say the quality of it is just it's very blurry and kind of splodgy if you like so that was one of them but i found another one as well that was actually split here and here i don't know where to accidentally put it in a dump bag i don't think so but i don't have it to hand but that was another one as well and then lastly this one as well but this one is is very odd because this was back right back when the britannia's first came out which is 1997 so it had to been absolutely just battered in some way i don't know whatever buried or whatever like that or else that's a very early fake so uh tell me what you think but i've never seen one in 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 such bad condition as that but again i actually think just because of the the portrait seems to even stand out more on this one i actually think that's a really really early fake that's actually what i think that is but again let me know what you think now to the coins we had the uh really um very well um designed nhs coin fabulous organization so delighted to get one of them this month then we had our complement of 2008 britannias it's one that you you can get you know it's one i was talking to uh one of my subscribers there and um he had found one very recently and that's what i said it's, it's just people overlook them but it's over face value you'll get two to three times its value its face value and um yeah it's one that you know a lot of people miss so you know keep your eyes peeled for them they are out there and then we had our compliment had more more than this but i just got a couple of examples we had paddington at the tower and paddington at st paul's uh, these are the two that we don't currently know the mintage for I think that both of them will be lower than the ones that we know, which are Paddington at uh, Victoria Station and Paddington at Buckingham Palace. So, yeah, it's between these two. Which one do you think is going to be the lowest mintage? I've said from the start that I think it's St. Paul's. You know, I don't know. <laughs> it's just, you know, it, it, it's literally the toss of a coin. <laughs> you know what I mean? To know which one. But always nice to get a Paddington coin. It's lovely design. Great story. Uh, Michael Bond, the first time it came out was in 1958 was the first paddington story so I always love to get them then we had at the start of the month we had a suffragettes coin and then at the end of the month to finish the coin hunting for the month i had a suffragettes coin and again uh you know it's it's not one that's very common there's so much detail going on in the back you know the design because as i said before i think design is king for or king for me you know over the value of the coin obviously it's fantastic you know if you do get um like if you're lucky enough to find a Kew Gardens or, you know, any of them, like the the the, the Olympic coins, especially the football one being the, the rarest of the loss. Any of these coins, Flopsy Bunny and uh, Peter Rabbit with the radishes, 2008. You know, it's great to get the, the ones that are very high over face value. This is another one that's over face value. But um, obviously what it stands for is just terrific, you know. And as I've said previously, women not having the vote at that time was an absolute disgrace so thank emily pankhurst and uh and the other suffragettes 
for uh, their their fight and you know their place in history. Well done to them. And then, what did we have? Oh, we go into our territories coins. Unfortunately, there are two of the territories coins that I have seem to have. I must have put them in the dump bag. Um, I'm bringing back a dump bag on Monday, so I'll have to have a look through that. One of them was um, Alaman TT. It's the one with the two motorbikes with the wreath of leaves around the edge. So that was one that I found very early on in the month. Delighted with that. Then the second one was East Caribbean uh, Islands, a one dollar one with a ship on the back, which is beautiful. Unfortunately, I don't have them as a hand at the moment, but those were two finds this month. Fantastic! Absolutely delighted with it. Uh, finding them. Then Milner's Tower. Wonderful. It's done like a lock and key. This I found out. I read like during the little pause, looking for NIFC coins and uh, key dates. Um, so yeah, the, the the guy who made it made it like a a lock and key. So beautiful, always as as I say, wonderful to get um, territories coins, and they're always very low mintage. So you know, keep your eyes out for them. You know, so very happy with that one. And then we also got, I think Grosne Castle. I don't, I'm not sure about the pronunciation because it's French. Um, uh, from the Bailiwick of Jersey, 1957. Wonderful coin again, beautiful design. You know, territories. You just cannot beat the territories for designs. You know, the main. Obviously, we want to get the mainland coins because they're they're you know there's the ones that we get obviously more often here because they are the ones in circulation. But to me, these are the most wonderful designs. And then I was very lucky this month to get two um, of the Fraser coins. One 19, dated 1997 and the other one dated 2008. Now off the top of my head, I'm trying to think. The 1997, I believe, is the one that's over 1 million. Which is still an incredibly low mintage for a for a, um, a 50p coin. I mean, it's lower than Flopsy Bunny for that, for, for that matter, you know. So it's like, pff, it'd be the second lowest if it was a mainland coin. And then the 2008, I believe, is 350,000. So it's incredibly low mintage. There's ones that are, are eye-wateringly low mintage of the Frisia. So keep your eyes out for these. And dates do matter in these. I mean, they're all very, very low mintage. That, I think, the 97 is the highest mintage. That's just over a million. So some of the other ones are just insanely low mintage. So you, a mintage you wouldn't believe that would put... Um, Cued to shame as far as mintage is concerned. So an absolutely fabulous design. What a beautiful, beautiful bit of flora on the back of that. Amazing. Absolutely delighted to get them. Then we had a very sought after coin on the mainland. And had had I've been very lucky to get two of them. Which is uh, Peter Rabbit. I used to say with his carrots. But um, I was speaking to a, a, a subscriber. And rightfully said... He rightfully said that they are radishes. They are old school radishes, yeah. They're not uh, carrots. So there you go. Always willing um, to learn as I go along. Uh, 2018 collection. Obviously, when these came out, these took first and second place with uh, Flopsy Bunny. So absolutely, yeah. If you get one of them and they're they're going for like 10 times to 14 times their value their face value so very very sought after coin so absolutely delighted with them and um, not as sought after um but not far off being as low mintage is the 2017 uh Britannia oh, she the Britannia shield um one million eight hundred thousand so incredibly low mintage again a coin that's regularly missed and that's the reason why you can actually get them in circulation. You know, people do find them. Even just in change sometimes. Um, but they are, again, worth over face value. So keep your eye out for them because, you know, they can easily slip through somebody's attention, so to speak. Um, they will not notice them. But it's a key date and it's the lowest mintage key date of the 50 pays. So definitely one to keep your eyes out for. And this one, we've been very lucky. We've had three. Uh, Olympic coins, as I said before many a time, getting very, very rare on the ground. So it's always an absolute delight to get them. And because the designs are fantastic, they're really cool. So we had archery this month. This one is the actual highest mintage one. 
we had uh, the equestrian one lower mintage and then we had the cycling even lower mintage so delighted to get three more of those I'm still looking out originally I sold two sets of them when I used to sell coins um, and no I don't have a full set anymore so <laughs> serves me right so I, I definitely won't be doing that again but I have got I've been very very lucky so if you've seen my early videos I had some absolutely astonishing look in them so I might add them onto the end of this video so you can have a look at them so absolutely delighted to get them anything else no that's it for the 50 pays so now last on to the uh, two pound coins now we had some oddballs here these let's start with the oddballs I don't really can see this and people think I'm a bit nuts yeah it's not showing very well there you go okay if you look at the eight on it if you look at it closely you will see I don't have another um, 1998 to hand but it's actually a split eight it's like two little um, two little zeros on top of each other very difficult to say there you go but it is actually it is actually an error because I've seen that none of the other eights on 1998 are like that um, so it's just one of the little oddities I absolutely love things like that so but you have to be eagle-eyed to see let me see does it another two pound coin there is that 98 I don't know it's jumping about so probably not no but there we go it's a funny little one to find oh I'll go on to that one last there, here's another one that somebody's decided to batter and bruise. This time, I believe, with a soldering iron. Because you can see the heat and, and, and it's kind of warped. And I scratch this and it goes like bright silver, like solder. So, yeah. It's either that or somebody shot it with a shotgun. So, absolutely battered. Again, as I said, I think I said in the video, some some get their kicks from champagne, you know. <laughs> some get their kicks from soldering coins. There you go. It's a strange world we have. But another oddball one. And then this one. Don't think this is an odd one or, or um you know, one that's been battered. This one to me clearly looks like um somebody's decided to make themselves a two pound coin. Um you can see it's the the compared there, I'll just take up that two pound coin. Compared to the portrait on this one here to the right. You can see the detail and it is seriously lacking. It looks like somebody's actually sanded it. Sanded the front of it. The colour looks wrong. The writing is not as defined and clear on it. Same with the back. The colour, the silvery colour looks like somebody's painted it. So I believe that's a fake coin. What do you think? It's certainly not the worst one. The writing on it around the side on it is very, very clear actually, I've got to say. So... That's been done like literally it's almost too good. And it's actually better than the, the normal ones. So there you go. Another oddball. Well actually a fake I think. And then this one was the oddball of all oddballs. When I first seen it I saw the back of it. And I was like looking at it. And I was like is that territory's coin? What is it? And what's going on here? Because I just thought that just doesn't look right. You know when you look at coins you see them very often. That's the back of one. So you'll notice that it has the date. On the back of it. And this didn't. This said writing on it. I turned it over. And I said, that's the writing on the front. Then I turned it over on the front. And saying that £2 was on, on this side. And 97 And it was in the wrong place as well. Now. I thought. Immediately. Wow. This is a, a, a rare error coin. Yes. They are made. And there is a tongue and groove. That goes in between them. Where they mould together. Uh, basically, but I have seen unscrupulous people on the internet where they've smashed out the middle, like it's it's like blunt force trauma on the front of it, where there's a big dent in it, and you know they they push it in the wrong way and kind of glue it, I guess, stuff like that. So you know, but this one doesn't have that damage on it. In 1997, they had problems where the middle fell out. Of the coins. So that was the delay. It delayed it until 1998. Even though they were dated in 97. They only came out in 98. So maybe the inside of it fell out. Maybe the mint decided. Um, instead of wasting them or melting them down. Um, because there's two different metals. To kind of fix them back in. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe somebody has tampered with it. But if they've done it. They haven't managed it. Or they haven't damaged the edge of it. which is you, Which would usually happen. On the ones I've seen on the internet. And the face of it is usually absolutely battered with a big chunk out of it 
from beating the middle out of it. So, you know, if they've done it, they've managed to do it to make it look like it's it's a real error. I don't know what you think, you know, I'll leave it to your judgment. But um, yeah, certainly the oddest £2 that I found. And clearly, obviously, very different from a normal one. I know that's not a 97, this one here, but you can clearly see that it's an odd ball. Now, we had one of my favourites in the £2 coins. We had the Darwin coin. A low mintage coin, but um, just a fabulous scientist and how he's um, enlightened us, basically, with his uh, with his writings on the origin of species and so many other books for that matter. Wonderful scientist. We had a visitor from the north. The beautiful Thistle coin. That's uh, the... Um, Commonwealth Games in Edinburgh in 1986, long before obviously a single metal coin, a bimetallic, long, long before uh, uh, the actually 12 years before the two pound coins came out. Because as I've just said, they came out in 1998, even though they were dated 1997. And I think I said in the video I likened it to a big chunk of chocolate because it is a big chunky beast, but a very nice one to get. Um, I've managed to get since I've started to coin treasure hunt. I think I've got three of them now. And one of my all time favourites. Beautiful designs. Love the Shakespeare. Um, did manage to get the histories one as well. But this is the lowest mintage of the three Shakespeare's. Always worth over face value. Because just people love it. Um, beautiful coin. Didn't manage to get the full set this month. Because um, I've only ever 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 got one of the tragedies ones. And again it's one that's missing. I'm starting to believe that the Tragedies one is the lowest mintage one. And then we had Anniversary of the Golden Guinea. I love that's playing around there and then there's just a burst of of um, design towards the middle. Really good coin. Again, it's um, under 3 million that one. And then not Robbie Burns, but Robbie Burns is what he's known as. Simple design, but very effective, and uh, obviously a, a legendary figure in Scotland. And you have Burns Knight, of course. Then we had the new face of the reverse of the two pound coin, the Britannia. I love the way the design is done. It's like done on the full size of the of the back of the coin. Usually, it's much much smaller. So that's what I love about it. Obviously, the one to look out for. Well, 2017 and 2018 are NIFC coins, so they're not intended for circulation. Um, then you have 2015 and 2016. These are 2016s, one grubby one. One very good condition one. Um, still very low mintage, under 3 million. Uh, I think 2,925,000. So obviously still a very good coin to get, but not the lowest mintage one. The lowest mintage one is 2015. So keep your eyes peeled for them. As I said, it became the new reverse of the coin in 2015. And then, got to be my favourite. Well, it is my favourite. Um, the Great Fire of London. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful coin. Such fabulous detail. I believe Stephen Raw um, oops, uh, designed this coin. He also designed, if my memory serves me correctly, the uh, Isaac Newton one. And that being my favourite and many people's favourite 50 pence coin fabulous design fabulous swirls of flames the buildings in the in the background the boats in the foreground so much going on terrible in you know horrendous tragedy and as i said before in history they said oh there's supposedly only three people died but records were so bad that historians think there was thousands of people died unfortunately um but yeah obviously an event like that has to be commemorated because it was such a major event but a beautiful, beautiful coin. And then we got lucky again with the Randells. The Randell is actually a little plaque. That's what actually Randell means. Um, and we got another one. So delighted with that. But even though this is the lowest mintage of the two underground uh, coins, I always seem to get this one. And I only ever think I got the train one once in all the time I've been coin hunting. I've been coin hunting for two pounds less than I have for... Um, uh, 50p coins but there we go I still, I'm still delighted to get it but I would like a train one as well <laughs> then another one of my absolute favourites the Magna Carta 
Always absolutely love to get this coin. Beautiful. To give it its full title, Magna Carta Libertatum. So um, considerably under 2 million this coin. Beautiful. Over face value. I literally, I just can't get enough of them. I would happily get one every hunt. Well, maybe not, but you know what I mean. It is a beautiful design. Uh, King John at Runnymede in um, 1215 signed the Magna Carta and that's given us our rights, the rights that we have today. And it keeps the, uh, well, the monarchy had to abide by the law as well, which obviously uh, stopped general folks getting taxed horribly by um, you know, corrupt uh, monarchies at the time. So, well, King John obviously changed it, so good on him. Or he's probably forced to change it, actually. <laughs> by the will of the people. And then... We had our second entry of uh, Britannia's in our top coins of January 2020. But this time, these are both 2015's, which have a crazily low mintage of 650,000, making it one of the rarest £2 coins. It's absolutely amazing. You know, it's only only two of the Commonwealth games are lower mintage than this. And that's the um, Northern Ireland one and the Wales one. But these, uh, just incredible. So keep your eyes out for this one. 2015 is the date you're looking for. Unless, of course, you get a 2017 or a 2018 shield. And our last entry. I suppose the, these two, as non-commemoratives, would be star £2 coins. But of this one here, we did manage to get ourselves absolutely delighted I want marbles when I got this one. And it was the Scotland one. Um, now that's the second. So the English one would be the highest mint. But I say that with a pinch of salt. Because they're all of them are way under 1 million. So they're all incredibly rare. And then Scotland is kind of like uh, number three in the list. So England would be the. Highest mintage one, then Scotland, then Wales, and then Northern Ireland. But I'm delighted because I've never had one. That's only my second ever. And all the time I've been um, uh, coin hunting two pound coins, that's only my second ever. And thankfully, it's a different one because I have the England one and now I have the Scotland one. So in the next coin hunt, please, I'll have the other two. Thank you very much. So there we go. It's been a fabulous month. Absolutely love doing it. Um, welcome, uh, uh, a warm welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you very much for choosing Coin Treasure Hunt. And I look forward to doing lots more exciting uh, content for you guys and girls um, in the future. Uh, starting in February. And uh, we'll get kicked off with that tomorrow. So I'll post another video. Well, I'll post this obviously tomorrow. And then I'll post my next video after that. My next Coin Hunt. Um, now you should see a selection of the videos that YouTube have suggested that you might like to watch if you've enjoyed this one. And up in the right hand corner you will see the X marks the spot 10p coin that will help you to subscribe. If you enjoy the content um, and you want to keep up to date with my uploads, I do regular regular uploads. So just visit the channel page and hit the notification bell and that will help you to do that. In the meantime everybody I wish you happy hunting and I'll see you for the next coin treasure hunt. Take care until then. Bye-bye.